if, uh, if young golfers wanted to learn to play Moe's way, how, how would they do that? Oh, that's pretty hard because we can teach it. Well, might we so different. Well, the different things I do, uh, no, nobody can teach it. Kids are no place to go. Because nobody can, especially in my country, I talk about Canada, not, nobody can teach it. How about the United States? Oh, yeah, well, well, well whoever, whoever uh, believes in it. First thing I did when I saw Mo hit a golf ball, he looked different. Obviously, his swing didn't look the same as what I was learning, but he impacted the golf ball on the same plane he started the golf club, the single plane. When I saw that, I said immediately, that is the way to swing a golf club. That's the simplest possible way, because that's what I've been trying to do with these other instructors, except I couldn't get it done from where they had me working. And that's the first thing. When I saw Mo do that, I said, that's the answer. I found is I made it way too difficult at first and he simplified it so much to me by the time I figured this thing out which took me a while took me a couple years to figure it out they said my, my comment was it really can't be that easy and it was The progression of knowing Mo is just understanding, um, is probably learning about his golf swing and understanding how much of a genius he was to have learned and developed this golf swing, which is really the simplest possible way to strike a golf ball. That simply is the first step that most people run into is, is I, you know, they get to know his golf swing and see the simplicity and the genius behind it. And then you, you kind of step into the second part, which is understanding how, how much of a genius this guy was, the way he looked at the game of golf. Um, and then the, maybe the third step of knowing Mo was applying that to your own game, applying his swing and his approach to the game and how he simplified this whole thing to make it easier. And then the fourth step is just 
applying it to uh, playing the game and having fun. So that whole process, and to me, the knowing Mo process when you're when you're when you're finally get to that part where you do know Mo, is um, your life's different. I mean, you, you, people stop struggling. Their frustration level goes down. Um, they're no longer um, they enjoy the game of golf. And what what a better way to spend your life than enjoying something you're doing. You see people on the golf course and they're frustrated, so they go to have fun and recreate and play a game with their friends and get frustrated. It doesn't make any sense to me, but they do it every weekend, they do it every other day. So the point is, is to stop the frustration and just have fun and uh, make this thing simple. Mo figured that out and knowing Mo means I have, he figured out a way to make this game simple and by simplifying that, it's about having fun and enjoying your life, ultimately. Everything we're trying to do here is to create an environment that if you need help, you can get it. So the main goal is so you're not out there practicing incorrect fundamentals and you're practicing exactly what Mo Norman did and now that you know Mo, you're going to get better. There's no other way to do it and there's no better way to do it. We're trying to create the best possible way to get better at golf.